upgrading Jenkins Java version from 17 to 21. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.426.1. This Jenkins controller is running on Alma Linux 8. And I've also got a Linux-based agent attached to this controller. Now, Jenkins LTS 2.426.1 is the first long-term support release that supports Java 21. The key thing to note here is if you are not running Jenkins LTS 2.426.1, you cannot use Java 21 with that LTS version. This version is the very first version that supports Java 21. Now, how do I know what version of Java I have running on both my controller and on my agent? Well, let's take a look at that. We'll go to Manage Jenkins. We'll go down to System Information. And on the System Properties tab, what we're going to look for is Java Runtime Version. If we go ahead and expose this, we can see that we're running 17.0.9. If we go over to our agent, we'll go ahead and click on the name. We also have a system information for the agent. Let's click on that. And again, we'll look for Java runtime version. And here we also see 17.0.9. This is a really important piece of information. You should always strive to have the same version of Java that's running your controller, in this case, 17.0.9, be the same version of Java that's running your agent process. Again, in this case, 17.0.9. Now there is a script that you can run that will help you figure this out for you in the script console. The link to that script is down in the description. Let's go ahead and go back up into Manage Jenkins on the controller, and let's scroll down into the script console, and let's paste in the script. So what this script is going to do is it's going to find what version of Java is running the controller process along with the version of the agent that's associated with that controller. And then it's going to check the version of Java and the agent version that is on the agent. So let's go ahead and run the script. What we'll see from the output is the expected agent version. So the version of the agent that's available from the controller in this case, is 3160. We can also see the expected Java version is 17.0.9. So when we take a look at the agent one node, we get back a message of okay. Well, what the okay means is that the version of Java for the agent matches the controller and also the version of the agent matches what's available from the controller. Now let's see if we can go ahead and break this. Let's go ahead and go into our controller. Let's stop the Jenkins process. So I'm going to say sudo systemctl stop Jenkins. Now that the controller has stopped, let's go ahead and upgrade our Java installation. In this case, I am using the Timurin based version of Java. So I'm installing Timurin 21 JDK. Let's go ahead and hit enter for this. Okay, now that our Java version has been installed, specifically Java 21 on this controller, Let's go ahead and type java-version. And what you're going to see potentially, depending on what your operating system is, you may see Java 21 here already because it went ahead and updated all of the sim links, but in my case, it didn't. So what I need to do is go ahead and change my default Java for the system from 17 to 21. So I'm going to do sudo update alternatives config Java. We have two options, 17, which we can see is the default, and then 21. I'm going to go ahead and hit the number two, so 21 becomes my default. And now if we type in java-version, what we're going to see is we now have our version 21.0.1. Let's go ahead and restart our Jenkins process. So we'll type sudo systemctl restart Jenkins. Now that Jenkins has restarted, let's go ahead and go back over to our controller. If we go back into the controller, we'll have to log in because we restarted the controller from the service. Let's go ahead and go back in to our script console and let's see how that message may have changed. Let's go ahead and run the script and let's take a look at the output. What we have here for the controller, our expected agent version is still the same, 3.160, because we did not change the version of Jenkins we're running, but the expected Java version is 21.0.1. Now, under the agent one line, we have a new line instead of it saying OK. It now says expected Java version 21.0.1, but got 17.0.9. So this tells us that our agent Java version is mismatched against the controller Java version. And we need to get that version of Java updated on the agent. Now running this script is not a real big deal to do, but wouldn't it be a lot nicer 
to be able to just look at this within our nodes listing? Well, actually we can. There is a plugin called Version Node Monitor. Let's go ahead and install that. Let's go back over to Manage Jenkins. We'll go to Plugins. We'll go to Available Plugins and let's search for Version and then C for Column and we'll find the plugin Versions Node Monitors. Let's go ahead and install this. Now that everything's downloaded, let's go ahead and restart the controller. Now that our controller is restarted, let's go to Build Executor Status, which will take us to our nodes listing. What we'll see here is we've got two new columns that we haven't seen before. We get a JVM version, and we also get a remoting version. Notice that our controller, built-in node, is at 21.0.1, and our JVM version for the agent one is at 17.0.9, the same thing that we saw within the script. We can also see here the remoting version is at 3.160 for both the agent and the controller. Now, how can we change the configurations for this? Let's go ahead and take a look at node monitoring. That gives us the ability to see how these columns show up. When we take a look at node monitoring, we can see the two new columns that were added, JVM version, and then also remoting version. Well, you may notice here with JVM version, the comparison mode of agent and controller JVMs. What we're saying here, by default, the agent must run a JVM whose feature release counter, 1117 or 21, is greater than or equal to that of the controller. That's the strongly recommended minimum. There are other options that are paranoid and paranoid plus plus. We'll stick with the recommended minimum, but also notice the chat box, disconnect agent when incompatibility is found. Well, if we go ahead and take a look at what we have right now, our agent has already been marked offline. If we take a look at the very top of the agent page, what we're going to see is this node is offline because the JVM version of the agent is incompatible with the controller one. So I'm happy with that description. That's what it gave me by default. Let's go ahead and upgrade the version of Java on the agent. I'm logged into my agent. I don't need to shut down any of the processes. So the only thing I need to do is go ahead and upgrade my version of Java. So we'll paste in our DNF-Y install of Timurin 21 JDK. Now that the installation is complete, let's check our Java version. Much like what we saw with the controller, our default version of Java on the agent is still 17.0.9. So let's go ahead and update the alternatives. We're going to go ahead and select our Java 21 installation. Now let's go ahead and run Java version again. Now we can see that we have Java 21.0.1 as our default Java for the agent. Let's go back over to our controller. Now here's the key part to this that you might miss. When we take a look at this screen, what we see is the node is offline but that does not mean that it's not disconnected. The connection is still there, but the ability to use it as an agent has been taken offline. So what we need to do is we first need to fully disconnect the agent from the controller, and then we will reconnect it back to the agent. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on disconnect and say yes to disconnect. Now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and bring this node back online. So we'll click on that button and then we will click on launch agent. The reason why we need to disconnect and reconnect is that the system property hadn't been updated yet. So by fully disconnecting and reconnecting that new version of Java 21 that's on the agent will be picked up. We can see that it's connected and online. Let's go back to nodes. And if we scroll to the right again, what we will see now under JVM version, we have matching 21.0.1 installations on both our controller and on our agent. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.